My name is Hiromi, Ikebana instructor in Tokyo. Today, I would like to use peonies because they are very beautiful in May and June and create an arrangement that highlights the beauty of the peonies. Because the peonies are so beautiful, today I'm going to create a very simple Ikebana by using the basic style. So, this time, we're going to use flower base which are round one and we're going to use two kanzan the moon shaped one and the round one and we're going to put the moon shaped one on the top of the round one like this we're going to put on the back of this flower base last time i put the kanzan in the front but this time i would like to put it on the back and to show the beauty of the water surfaces. Let's begin. Let's measure the three main stems that we're going to use. Today, I'm going to use Japanese quince for the longest stem. When we measure the three main stems, we use the flower base's height and the diameter. And we double it. So it's about this much. And for the second one, I'm going to use the Japanese quince again. And for the second one, it will be three fourths of the longest one. So I'm gonna cut a little bit. And for the third one, I'm gonna use the peonies. I have three peonies here and one of them is in full bloom and one of them is half bloom and one of them is still bad and for the third one I would use this this one which are still in bed and the third one will be three-fourths of the second one so it's about this much. Let's fill the flower base with the water. And please cover the kenzan with the water. This time I'm going to make a slanting style and I'm going to make a wide open space for the flowers. Then let's insert these three main stems. Let's insert this longest stem, shin. And by the way, I'm arranging from the back side. So when I refer right, left, I'm referring to the right, left to your perspective. Okay, let's insert the longest stem, shin. This time I'm leaning this longest one 45 degrees to front and don't forget to cut the stem in the side of the water and I'm cut it at an angle 45 degrees to your shoulder and the second one last time I arranged the basic style I insert all the three stems to front side but this time I want to make a wide open space around here for the peonies so I'm going to insert this second one 15 degrees toward back side I have to cut them and 15 degrees back right and for the third one, I'm going to use the flower and I'm using the flowers which are still in bed. And usually, when you get peonies still in bed, they have a natural sealant on the petals. This one, they don't have that sticky um, sealant anymore, but when you have one, try to take off the seal, the sticky 
um, natural sealant. Then the flower will bloom. When they still have that sticky thing on the petals, the flowers doesn't bloom. When you cut flowers, cut them in straight. And this time, I'm going to put 75 degrees to the front right. So lean to your right shoulder. Like this. Okay. And after three main stems, we're going to put the supporting stems around here to um, create the volume and the duff. And when you put the um, supporting stems, which we called Jushi. Um, try to make the Jushi shorter than this one. Um, if you put something longer than the shortest one, the structure will be different. Um, we want to make sure every Jushi will get inside this three triangle that we made. This one is beautiful. I want to put this beautiful one in the center. I'm gonna use some leaves for Joshi too. I'm going to put another one around here. I'm going to put this Japanese quince inside um, near the flower. Okay, I'm going to take off the damaged leaves first. I'm going to put this leaf in front of this biggest flower, biggest peony, so they, I can hide the kanzan. And I lean a little bit more to the front. How does it look now? I think it's hiding the kanzan very well. Well, how do you like today's Ikebana? I hope you like this um, basic slanting style. Peony is one of my favorite flower. How about yours? Well, I hope you like this slanting style. I hope you can find peonies. And when you find peonies, um, try to arrange Ikebana with it. If you're interested in learning more Ikebana, please send me a message. I'm doing online lessons. Thank you for watching.